always keep pushing myself to more limits than what I've known I can be at. Um, times in the game where I felt like I was tired and I just kept pushing. I became a better leader this year for the team and put my body on the line a lot of times for the team. So I really is just to show myself I can do more than what I always thought I could. Really, I just want something that's guaranteed. Uh, what's guaranteed, and there's not a lot of stuff that's guaranteed in life and what's guaranteed for me is what's back at Arkansas. But really, I'm just looking for a guarantee or I just want to make sure that I can get onto an NBA roster. Playing in the SEC, we play against a lot of high talented teams. We played against the number one team, Auburn. We played against Kentucky, Alabama, a great team. Uh, Tennessee, great team, played them two times. LSU, they were ranked when we went to play them at their house, they were 12. So I feel like playing in the SEC, we played against a lot of great teams, high ranked teams. So just getting into the tournament was just another game for us. It was a great experience for sure. Um, I experienced it a lot at Arkansas too, just having 20,000, 21,000 people at, or fans at every one of our games. And then in the SEC, there was a lot of games that were packed out, but it's crazy. It's something you always want to experience and I'm glad I was able to, for sure. A lot of times guys knew that I was the guy that would facilitate for the team. A lot of times I would get the ball top of the key, run DHOs or get the ball to our best scorer in JD Note or Stan. They were our better scorer. So I feel like a lot of guys knew that I was going to do that and they kind of sagged back. But when I big times came, I always shot the shot and I felt like it went in a lot of times. I think that I need to prove that, I, that I'm more athletic than what a lot of people think I am and then I can shoot the ball at a high level. I think that a lot of teams don't know that I'm, I can hit that three consistently and that's what I'm trying to prove. What's a fair criticism of your game? I would say that I'm not the most athletic person. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are more athletic than me. I don't really rely on athleticism. It's not something I, that's not how my game is played. I'm not gonna be the guy that goes and does a flashy dunk or has my head up at the rim blocking a shot. I've never been that type of uh, player. So who would you compare yourself to? Humbly, I would say uh, Al Horford. He's kind of always been a dirty work player. He does a lot of fundamental. He plays hard, he gets rebounds. He doesn't have the most exciting game to watch, but he always plays good. He's gonna get you a double-double or however many. He just plays his role and he plays it great. A lot of our offensive actions were actions that, that they run in the NBA. Like when we watch film uh, before, when we're learning plays, he'll show an NBA team running the play or something like that, or even our concepts. We, we use the same concepts. We might say different words, like use a different name for it, but we did the same concepts that transition over to the NBA. So he did a really good job of preparing us for this coming up.